Howdy YouTube, this is Branjo, and in this video I wanted to show you all my, uh, my portable, uh, engine updated. Uh, it was different last time because it was run by the, my, uh, solar motor. But I changed that, I need to use a solar motor for something else, so I put a Kinex motor on it with a gear reduction there. And what would be the electrical box. Um, I made a little trailer for it, so it's, uh, I can hook it up to my TIV over there. I'll do another video on uh, what you saw on the back of it. It's basically a two-stroke engine. doesn't have the valves on top. I modeled it after a Fairbanks Morse 32E. If you saw my other video, you would know that. This down here would be like where it would suck in the air and mixture, and this would be like your little uh, throttle thing right here. I don't know how a rubber band got on it. I need to take that off or it'll get jammed. Now, the little trailer I made for it, it has suspension. It's what this green rod's for right here. It also has a trailer brake. You can't... I don't, I'm not pushing real hard on this. So I could hook it up to the back of my RC over there and go slowly with it, and the suspension would work well. Um, all in all, it weighs about 0.5 of a pound. Maybe a pound. Um, this, belt, this is the belt pulley back here. You can put it on the the black part, the or this not groove part right here, which is basically uh, just uh, one of those large wheels just slipped, a uh, rim just slipped into it. Anyway, this engine here is um, supposed to be like a little portable generator one. This thing here, this gear right here is not locked onto the shaft. It spins freely. So basically, whenever the engine gets up to speed, and if I want it to generate power, um, I just lift this up, and I would let this gear spin freely. But when I don't want it to move, I just let that go, and it'll keep the gear from spinning, or in, if it's in belt pulley mode. It's all connected in one system, so I'm going to get it running. It doesn't go very fast. See how this gear's not spinning? Watch me pull this back. Yeah, you get you get the idea. Um, back here, these are the stabilizers for it. These are the stabilizers. Um, you put those down when you're going to run it, because right now there's no weight on these wheels. They they could spin freely. Um, cause uh, I lifted up the weight with the little tongue jack I made right there, and the stabilizers in the back. It also has a trailer brake I put into it. I think it's the first one on YouTube that I've seen for a Connects thing. Um, would it base? That's it right there. Let me, uh, let me get it. I'll take it off the jack so you can see that. What you do is you let the front down. You put, you just, uh, up the front all the way down and that takes the majority of the weight off these back ones so then you slide these uh, round things back and it wants to tip back but you just slide them out now and that will keep and that's just where the jacks ride while it's um and see it wants to do a wants to do a wheelie works well with the suspension now let me show you the trailer brake. That's uh that's back here. That's you turn this little thing right here. Hear that clicking? I can't move it now. It locked the wheels. It's unlocked now, I can move it, and then you turn it and it's locked. It's a pretty simple mechanism. In the in the tire right here, there's a um, little uh, thing you'd slide one of those brown nuts into, and that would uh, basically lock it locks the wheel because this little rod here goes into it, and it won't let it turn. So uh, yeah, that's my uh, little portable connects generator thing.